Hi, this is Johnny. I'm doing uh, Virtual Man's uh, new ver version. I think it's 1.9 something, 9.8 maybe. Uh, this one is the new one. And originally I did the 128 gigabyte. And that one, let me reach over and get that. That one have RK239 ROM and Atomic Wave 26 and uh, Dolphin 14. Uh, Niami 90, Neo Geo 140, Neo Geo CD 92, and Open Board 300. So that's what he have. And turn out that if you go to his uh, website, those are already included in, in the download, the, the add-on. So then I checked the hard drive because it, he mentioned that you need a two terabyte a hard drive to download all this and put it into a hard drive. So I was thinking, well, uh, I, my hard drive after I, I format it is 1.8 terabyte. It's not two terabyte. So I was worried that since he added a lot of stuff, I was worried that I don't have enough. As you can see, there's no, no ROM in it, most all this uh, stuff. This is a 64 gig. So then I was, I was thinking that uh, where's all his DOS game? Because he did not include that. He, he included on this 64 gig. So if you want the DOS game and the port, the PC game, like the port, you will have to download the 64 gig because uh, the add-on that he included, uh, this is missing. So now this one, the look, the main screen is a little bit different uh, than the one from a 128 gig. Uh, as you can see, there's really not any game in any of this folder. But the total game is 85. So you're wondering, well, where are those 85 games supposed to be at? So if you go to the port, the 32 is in the port game, and the DOS game is 51. So those are the, the game that, so that'd be 83, 51, yeah, 83. And then all game, is 85 so there's two more games somewhere okay so we're gonna go ahead and look at what are those games exactly so the port so this is all the DOS game that he was uh, demoing on his YouTube channel so he included all this uh, PC game now most of this PC game he also included the the remake version 1.5 which is a PC game that's cool and so you need to have a keyboard to set this up and some of the game PC game you require you have to have a keyboard so so he has a, a good set of game here now he does not have track mode but he he does have this image also support Marquia but you will have to do your own Marquia download all your own Marquia which is uh, Raspberry Pi call it the wheel you know the wheel so you have to download that yourself I don't think he included it. He just set it up where you give you the option to do that. But it's not a, it's not something that he, he have added with this build. He I mean he added where you he also say that you have to have a Marquia plugin, otherwise it might create some kind of issue. So once you once you decide that you want to use the Marquia on the top, you need to plug it in before you turn it on because it might create the, the screen problem between the top and the bottom. That's what I heard from his uh, YouTube channel when he was uh, live. But I haven't been uh, keep up with his uh, live video chat on YouTube. So I might be a little bit off from what, I, what I'm telling you. So uh, pardon me if I, if I didn't tell you the correct current information. So you might want to you know subscribe to him and so when he have a new video you could keep up with his uh because he always go on live live for at least an hour or so and when people come on he will talk you could ask some question this and that and he will give you some good information only thing i i do not like is he mapped the pc engine and turbo cd together i, w I wish he was just separated i don't know how many times i do the video i always mention that i really wish he was separate that so that way I could put my PC engine on PC size and turbo on the turbo size 
because they are not the same game set. And so I really wish he would just, I wish he would not do the same thing he did with um, like Genesis and Mega Drive. That one I understand the game set is all the same. But PC Engine and, uh, and Turbo 16, their game sets are different. And for him to put them together, it's just, it's just wrong. He just messed up, you know, it's not. Okay, so we already went through this, so let's get out of here. So I wish Wish is just separate them. So here's some more uh, game. I think the reason they probably, they count this as one. So maybe that's why. So there's only 83 uh, PC game and also the port game, which is also PC game. So he put all the PC game on this 64 gig build. So uh, I recommend using this one to do your build because otherwise you're going to lose this because he did not separate them into an add-on. So, but the 128 gig, the reason I started with 128 gig because I worry that my two terabyte will not be enough space. But after I put everything on a two terabyte gig, I realized I still have like roughly 700 gigabyte left on my, uh, on my hard drive, the two terabyte hard drive. So I have still plenty of space. So I went and copied all the arcade ROM, everything that he, he included in add-on. And also the Dolphin, the, the uh, Atomic Wave, and Open Board. So all those are, the ad, it's on the add-on. So when I put that in a hard drive, I still have 700 gig available. 700 gigabyte available. So, so this is all the DOS game. If you want this, you will have to download the 64 gigabyte and then do, and then put all the rest of them in a hard drive. Now I used to did it. I used to boot up to the hard drive, but now I don't recommend it. I mean, they, he gave you an option to do do multiple way of doing this, but I don't recommend it because why? Because it take long time to transfer the data from PC to to Raspberry Pi image. It take forever. You could spend a day to two days just downloading uh, two close to was that one point seven terabyte. Of data over or 1.5 terabyte of data well it's not some cool Star Trek game so I don't know does it work with the trackball or the spinner because I don't have that special type of joystick I just have to use joist I don't have the special type of uh, those kind of arcade that Glenn board to play those so yeah he got some cool oh yeah this is the uh, old time PC game. So here are some cool PC game. I'm just going over this just to see what it have. Oh, this one don't have any. Oh, okay, we're on the top again. All right, so we good. And this change every time. Okay, this one does not change, but the main screen, when you change this change, so I, I thought that was pretty cool. The the color and everything, all three pictures change. So that's kind of neat. The color, the, you know, the green go with green. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is to show you how how I did it. This is the f first time I booted it up, but you want, you, want, you want to go ahead and set up the network first. So, yeah, you wanna go ahead and set up the network first. So let me go ahead and set up the network, network tool. And let's do the Wi-Fi. Make sure I got it set up before I. Now you want to go ahead and plug your keyboard. I always, every time when I do a brand new setup, I always plug in the keyboard in with the external hard drive. But now I'm doing that later, so I don't know is it going to delete my game folder or is it going to have a problem? So I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out here. Hopefully it, it do not, but we'll find out. We find out together, should I do this? Should I do the hard drive after I do this? Probably need to do that, need to do this first, but let's go ahead and do it anyway. So this is turn on the USB, okay? So it will support the hard drive. So we're gonna turn it on. All right, so let me zoom in the screen so you can see what I'm reading, okay? 
So it said allow you to enable the external ROM XTFS drive and remove when you are planning to install a new one or just remove it. Without it, just a SD. Okay, so I'm just gonna press okay. Now the one I'm going to select is number one. I want to enable the external USB ROM. Okay. So it says checking for external hard drive, external drive detected, performing check for NTFS. Make sure you format it to NTFS. Okay. And also you have to name the, the folder, the, the ROM you know the label the label of the hard drive you have to label it correctly otherwise it will not see the hard drive as well okay the new script something blah blah okay so it's doing the shutdown on the matter will your favor disappear you know like you know save it as a favor so we're going to see if that and we're also going to test to see if a trackball and the spinner work on this new version that from virtual man And we're also going to go over how many game. Now I already know how many game because I'm the one who transferred the, the ROM into the, into the hard drive. Okay, so we have a different theme now. Let's see. 50 game, last play, game available, favor, 200, 225. All game, 1,000, 16,000. And 53 game. Wow. So it recognized my hard drive. Alright. And 27 game for this one. Trackball 48. Tennis. Alright. Street Fighter. Now those are just a uh, game that was separated by the the system. And we have some pinball game, 83 pinball game. 49 70 Super Mario 96 light gun 49 those of you who use light gun I don't so let me turn the sound down so you can hear what I'm saying okay King of Fighter 32 hockey 91 golf 143 football 173 fishing 43 double dragon 47 Casmic Castlevania 31 Beat up game, 433. That probably include the probably the open board stuff. Boxing, 85. Bowling, 31. Baseball, 164. Yes. No, that's baseball. What's this? Basketball. Sorry. Basketball, 164. All right. Now we're going to the console. Wonder Swamp, 92. Wonder Swamp Cutter. Wonder Swamp, 112. Virtual Man, 25. Not Virtual Man. Virtual Boy. 25 Vec Vectrons 25 Turbo CD 160 Okay, this is the one that I, I'm hoping that he does separate them because Turbo 16 and PC Engine are not the same game I mean the PC Engine CD Okay, 160 100 This one only have 94 94 Roughly 94 So he have some that is part of the Japanese version 68 for SG-1000, Sega CD 156, that's a good set. 32, Sega Genesis, Sega 32 is pretty much 32, that's a full, pretty full set. 1200, 1200 game uh, PlayStation, awesome. And uh, the PSP mini version, which is 203, and PSP work pretty well on Raspberry Pi 4 so it's good to get Raspberry Pi 4 because it support PSP pretty well and 692 PC game 50 that's the one that came with this console uh, beat up is Studio 2 that's correct the, from the add-on download 91 Super CD is about 100 I think he added three more interesting okay Super Nint uh, Nintendo AO2, Nintendo AO8, Pocket 40, Color, 
Huh, only nine? Neo Geo Pocket? The Neo Geo, only 140, okay? Nintendo DS, 252, that's a nice set. Naomi, 90. Nintendo 64. Master System, 277. Intervision is 135. Sega Genesis, 784. Game Boy Color, 1329. I'm reading from here. Game Boy Advance is 1026. Can you guys see all that? Okay, good. And Game Boy 1114, Game Gear 261, uh, 52 is a, is a full set of Nintendo Game Watch, Super Fendercom 509, Family Disk System 128, Family Computer 386, Channel F, hmm, never played that, 29, what's Channel F? I hadn't, I hadn't never played before. Dreamcast 285, Dolphin 14, good set. Coleco Vision, I always have problems pronouncing that. 140, Commodore 64, four, 640, <laughs> almost the same number. Atomic Wave is 30, that's correct. That's all it has, it doesn't have anything more. Look like he have uh, got the complete set in here. Before it wasn't uh, 30, maybe it was 28 or something, but he got a full version here. That's good. And Lynx, Atari Lynx, 83, Atari 78, 58. Now there's a lot more. Those are not full set, but they, he have some good game there. Atari 52, 96, Atari 26, 630, and RK is 200, 2000. Now, Mine is a little bit more because I add some game into it. So I might have to go in and try to fix, make sure all the artwork is working. I added some extra game that he did not, he, he, he doesn't, I don't know why he, he never have those game on, on his ROM set. Some of the, like uh, Tempest 2. Well, let's go ahead and finish this and then we'll go back into the arcade. Amiga, Amiga CD 32, 3 Doom, 3 Doom, 87. And then the port that we already look at, uh, 32. And that's it. So yeah, all the game did came over. That's wonderful. So you could do the hard drive first, then do this. It won't damage or mess up your game. So that's good to know. Let's go to arcade because I added some arcade game. And the first one I added is the, the Tempest. Uh, called Temp 2. That's one of the Tempest game I like. So I added that. All right, let's go down to the TEM. Okay, so the system recognizes both of them, Tempest. Yeah, it's calling both of them the using the same artwork for some reason. So I don't know which one is which because the system naming it the same. So I have to fix that. Oh, this one is called Tempest 2 because I created this one. <laughs> this is his and this is my Tempest 2. Okay. So let's see if my uh, spinner will work on this one. So I did bring the artwork over. It's just the name is called the same name. So I, I have to go to the games dot XML. So yeah, this is the, so it does have, all right, let me go ahead and start it. See if it work. Insert a coin. All right. Oh, the spinner does not work. The spinner do not work. So I have to fix that. The spinner do not work on this one. All right, so let's get out of that one. So, let me try the, the normal one, the, the Tempest. Let's see if the spinner work on this one. Now he always locked the, when you cannot press the A button to go into the setup, 
yeah he, he locked that up too so I will have to go in there and, and fix that too because he locked it so you cannot go in and change or see what what emulator is using and that's not good I don't like that okay all right the spinner work on this one the spinner work on this one so that's good but the new one that I just added the spinner do not work so I have to change the different emulator so I will have to I will have to show you guys how to do that all right so let's go ahead and see if I can save this as a favor I think you press I don't know which button you press no that's not what I want but I'm here anyway okay that's not what I want I want to go back because the the marquee is blocking it so you cannot really see if it's saving it or not you know what I'm saying oh here we go that's loading okay that's saving okay so what I did is I press select and this button so let me bring it down so show you all right so there's my spinner let me okay so I have to press the select the select button up here on top right there hold that button and then press this this is L1 this is R1 so I press R1 so it says save the stage in slot 1 I don't know you could see all that so let me try again you see that right there okay so save it then to lower it you press the now I want to know if I could add it to the favor that's reset not saving okay where's the favor all right let me get out here and see the favor you have to press Y okay so right here I'm gonna press Y All right, so you say, oh, let me move it. So if you press Y twice, it's gonna remove it. So press uh, Y. Okay, add the templates to the favor. So that's on the top. So let me bring this back up again. Okay, so I'm gonna press the Y button. See right here at the bottom, right here, it said press Y to save it as a favor. So I'm gonna press uh, Y if you press it twice it's going to remove it so I'm going to press it again I'm going to add it now I'm going to try this one this is a brand new game that I just added so I want to press Y okay so now I'm going to press B to get out and we're going to go to the to the favor see if it's there So fix it fill up. I think they're off a better order. So let me go to T. Okay, so we got both. We got this tempest and this one is the two. Tempest two. So this one is there. This one is tempest and this one two tempest. So it's there. Alright. So both of them is there. So the question is after you reboot it will it still be there okay so we're gonna go ahead and do quit and we start we're gonna restart the whole system instead of just restarting the emulator to let me go back to arcade and what happened is if you go to a game and you add a new game which i already modified the xml the game game start x x ML but the problem is when you playing the game 
So let's search for some game that I added, which is, I also added Sonic. Now I don't know if they kept it the same name or they changed it. So let's look for Sonic. I also added some, uh, some Final Fight game, like, Like this one, it actually support the trackball, okay? And so if I go in here, if it doesn't work, I want it to press A button. So here you're supposed to press A button, you're supposed to go into the screen. But he disabled that. So I'm still pressing A button, and but I can't get in there. But this one did low, so that's good. So we could actually test it out, see we could get the, uh, this one actually, the one that I download is support. So that's cool, he have the marquee already there. So let's see if it support the uh, trackball. So you put press the button and use the trackball to play it. All right. So let's go ahead and start the game. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see me use the trackball. My trackball right now is purple. Oh, shoot. But here before the wall smashed me. There you go. Then you can use trackball to go in there. I wonder if I could find this in the English version. I think I could. But this one's right now is in Japan. Japanese writing. So you can use your A button to jump. Oh shoot, I got hit away. Go Sonic, go! Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, so the trackball work on some game, but the one that I, I want to access some of the game that's in here, I can't get in there and change it. So I'm going to show you how to fix that so you can change it. And then uh, let's go check the favorite, oops, sorry. Let's go check the favorite game that we just added, two of the game in the favorite section. Somebody want me to test that. Here's the favorite. And let's go to the T. See if my game, both of my tempest is there or not. Okay. And here's the tennis mutant ninja turtle. And there's both of my tempest. This one, okay, this one the picture stay here, say tempest. And this one is the RK one that I created. It's called Tube Tempest. Because it, there's no mixed art. I went and create this myself. So there you have it. So it does work on the safe mode, okay? So now we are going to test the, the system to get the, so when I press A, I could fix my, uh, the new game that I just added. So let's zoom back in so we could see the, what I'm doing. System tool, let me bring it over more on this side, okay? So I'm going to the system tool, press A. Then I'm going to go to recommend, recommend setting. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to zoom in more so you can see the screen option. All right. So right here, we are going to uh, launch the menu by pressing A button. Currently is disabled. 
So let's see. Launch the menu is currently disabled. Number one. So we want to enable it. So now it's enabled. Number two. The menu artwork is also disabled. So it makes sense because the menu is option is disabled. So the artwork is also disabled. So we want to enable it. Okay. Uh, launch the menu joystick control uh, is disabled. So launch joystick is currently disabled. So we're going to go ahead and press A to enable the joystick. Launch image delay in currently two seconds. That's fine. CPU's process configuration. No. All right. So now we're going to just click exit out. And that's it. Okay. So now we're going to start that game uh, that I saved called the templates. So I'm going to go back and press B. Uh, press B. And I'm going to go to the favor. Try the game now. Now this time, I know the game doesn't work with the trackball. So now I press A button. Now this screen will show up now. A while ago, it didn't show up. All right. So I'm gonna. I'm not. I don't want to change the main default because that's for AV Auto Arcade. I just want to ch change it for this game only. So I'm gonna change that to 2003, May 2003. All right. Then I'm gonna launch the game again. See if it will work for 2003. Yes, 2003 will work. Okay, so now because it was using the final burnout Neo, and this game did not work because this game need the correct emulator to work. So now is is working now because when I first well before it was working with final burnout Neo, but it's just the spinner the spinner did not work. But we we change it so let's see if the spinner work now because final final burnout. Uh, F Neo does not support the trackball and the spinner, so you want to, yeah. See now it work when I when I spin it. See that? So I press A, press B. So now my spinner work. So that's how you fix your spinner. You have to put, you have to use the correct, correct uh, the correct email the well they, they don't call it emulate they call it quartz. Because this is uh, this is running on retro art, so courts have to be correct courts. It had to be uh, it had to be a uh, May two thousand. Apparently, this one using May two thousand three, and the graphic look good. Ah, really? That was simple when I got hit. How far can you push this uh, overclock? I recommend uh, this one. The they have one is a uh, 2.0 or 2.1, not the lowest one, the but the one above it. So let's go to the system tool. Uh, overclock option, system tool overclock. While ago we was in recommend setting for setting up the press A button, so you can fix the. If you add new game, you want this to turn on so you can fix your emulator. If it doesn't work, correct? The trackball or spinner doesn't work. You want to turn it on, okay? But the reason he turned it off is that way the kid. He said that way the kid won't accidentally did something and then your emulator stop working because they changed the setting. All right. So let's do the overclock. You have to do overclock based on the script. You cannot do it from the the from Raspberry Pi. It doesn't work from there. So you have to do it from here. So the one I recommend is 2.1. This is the one worked the best for me and it worked well. And I let it run 24 hours to make sure that the the system will not shut me down because I noticed that some image not based on Raspberry Pi, but some image, not not image, yeah some image that you download this is virtual man's image okay 64 gigabyte some image that you download if you set that to 1.2 megahertz it will work but the system after you run it for a couple hours maybe three four hours the system will shut down it won't stay 
uh, it will shut down for some reason and then you have to power it off and power it back on I don't know why but virtual man I set it to one point uh, one point number two point one megahertz and it worked just fine okay so let me zoom in that screen so you can see what I'm doing okay so 2.1 is the one that I recommend using because if you're going to play killer instant arcade killer instant part one I recommend use that and uh, so yeah most of these for arcade purpose and arcade some arcade game require faster speed so I'm press A and also some Dreamcast and some Nintendo game is my system overclock my uh, speed here temperature is good because I'm using the ice towel so I'm using a 128 gigabyte so I still have available space 199 because not yeah I'm using 128 gigabyte this is a 64 gigabyte image so this is the hard drive I'm using is a two terabyte so if you look at the back well you can't really see I have a stick on but it's a it converted to a standard USB and this is the ice tower if you guys haven't seen my previous video you, you they have they make two version of ice ice uh, by this company one is laying down and one is standing up you want the one standing up because this one the performance test is, is much better than the one laying down even though the laying down one is not too bad but the one standing up it actually cool the system much better than the one is laying down okay and so I'm using the pin number two and pin number nine okay I'm saving pin number five and six for the shutdown so you could uh, use that for a shutdown if you want all right now what what I normally do plug the hard drive into here into the second one at the bottom and then I use port uh, port one port two and then I use the track trackball stuff like that down here on the lower speed so this is how I plug it in so in case you guys are wondering how I plug it in sorry about it being so dark screen okay so you want to get the one is standing up it's better all right so this is rapid raspberry pi uh four uh four gigabyte b four b and four gigabyte and then uh, i'm using port two and port number nine for the fan i went and uh take the screw out because this this cable was over here and it was too tight i didn't like it so i i i took it off and i I took I took it off and then I move it to this side where the red cable is over here so it's easier to plug in so it won't be so tight so you don't have to put it underneath the the fan to to plug it in okay so just FYI that will help you too as well all right let's go check the computer and see how we uh, get this hard drive to get it done and get it working all right okay we're here on the computer when you put when you uh, put in the hard drive in here uh, it automatic this my computer will automatic pop up see my and it's old drive now if it doesn't show up because my I have to reformat it again so when I plug it in it didn't see it so I have to I have to go and type in a uh, disk uh, I'm using Windows 10 so this manager now this manager for some reason it's not there when you type it you don't see anything up here on the top but if you type it and you press enter the program this manager will show up it just window they tend to call the name different all the time so right here this management okay and it will automatically populate all your hard drive that you plug in and when I plug it in I have to delete the information and we create the partition and you want to create to ntfs so let's look at my uh, partition the one i created which is this one now i have two of them one of them is is was meant to be to be used but i didn't use it i used it for 
become my normal hard drive. But I have a, I have a two hard drive that actually is, is a two terabyte. So, but the one that I just put in is the old drive, okay? And the way this is partitioned, if you look at the old drive, I also assign a drive a drive letter to it. So you have to assign a drive letter, like you'd hear assign G. So that's not the one, this is the one. So I format it to NTFS, okay? NTFS is, uh, is, is that's what they prefer since long time ago when they have Raspberry Pi. So this is more like a, the old way setup. But uh, Virtual Man create a tool for you. So easy for you to set it up because the, everything is set up for you. And so that way when you boot up, it will see this drive. Plus his script, he also mapped uh, the ROM into a two different folder. So, so a couple of stuff that he did. It is an old way of setting up, you know, nothing really new, but he also adds some other mapping to it. So that's how you will, uh, if you was to delete it, you will say, uh, you will delete, you will delete the, uh, where's the one right here? You would create, you would delete, and you will create a new, new partition. But right now it's a different setup, so I can't really show you how to do it from here. But anyway, that's the disk manager. So you want to do that first. And then you want to format it using uh, window format is fine. You want to click on format. Now I already have data in here. I don't want to kill it, but I just want to show you how you go about formatting it. You want to make sure it's NTFS, okay? Then you just click format. Make sure you name it PI dash ext dash roms okay otherwise the raspberry pi uh from virtual man will not see it so you have to name it pi dash extension dash roms okay and then you download all the rom and you put it into the rom folder okay and you just copy all the stuff that he gave you put it in here now when you put this in the system, when when you click on supporting USB external or while go, it will create all this folder for you. So you just have to put your game into a file folder. So what I did is I open up another window and I'll show you how I do it. I right click it and I click uh, open window. And let's go ahead and look at how big this hard drive is right now with two with the, all all the data that virtual man provide us from the add-on download so after you copy all your stuff to, over you still have 664 gigabyte free space so i told you wrong it's not seven gigabyte 700 gigabyte 664 gigabyte free space okay so you got all these great graded out spot I mean those are available to use so roughly you are using 1.16 terabyte, that's it. So if you buy a 1.5 terabyte, it will work. 1.5 or two terabyte. It's best to get a two terabyte because he probably will add more stuff to it in the future, all right? So you open up the ROM folder or you keep, or you could keep it in the ROM. So what I did is I go to his website and I download, I download all the stuff into a folder called Virtual Man. So here's a virtual man add-on. And I label it one, two, three, because that way I won't get confused. One is three, two, and atomic wave, atomic wave, uh, Commodore 64, Dreamcast, all this, Neo Geo CD. Now he has some that, one is the older version, one is the newer version. So for example, PlayStation and PSP, there's two versions. The first version he released was 400 and then PlayStation 1 was 800, but now PlayStation 1 is 1,200 ROM. And on uh, PSP is, I think it's more now. He also added, here's PSP. See, see PSP now is 690 games. So the old one was, uh, was 400 and now it's 690. So I used a new one that was there. Now, uh, Dolphin is still, uh, it's the same amount of game, you know, 15 plus, it's the same amount of game, nothing changed. 
Urban Boy is the same. The one that came with the 128 gigabyte uh, the image from here. Yeah, it come with the uh, Open Board 300 game. It come with uh, RK 335 games. See, mine is 20 more game. Like I told you, I added 20 more game to it. So mine say uh, 2055 game. His is 2035 game. Okay, because I added the uh, Final Fight. I added the uh, Tomb Tempest. I added Kill Instant One and Two. I added the uh, Golden. Uh, Golden Axe, uh, some, the reverse something, and then I also added uh, uh, some other one. So I'm gonna have to go check all those. See, uh, and then I need to find out why my Killer Instant now work. The gameplay is very bad, so I need to fix that too. Okay, so this is what I do is I I go ahead and uh, and also it come with the RK two thirty five. And it's the same same amount of game. So what you do is let's just open one of this. Uh, now the console you want to download the one called console. The console you have two. He have one is the the add-on console and the handheld console. The add-on console is all the game that the is 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 like a, you sit on a TV and you play it. Okay, so you want to copy all that over there. And then you have a handheld, which is all the Game Gear, uh, Atari Lynx, you know, anything that you carry, like Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, all this uh, handheld game. You want to copy all that over here. So what you do is I go to the ROM directory and I just select all of them and I just copy it and then you paste it. And and that that go pretty fast, you know, going to paste. Oops. I think I paste it twice now. Right, so you just paste it and it will calculate and then start copying stuff over. So that's pretty much it. I just copy all the download. Now, you, now you're going to say, okay, well, how do you go about downloading it? So what I did is, and this, is this is the game list that I add, the 20 game in here. You could put this at the very bottom of the game list and it automatically will put it in the alphabet order for you. Uh, see the name here. I didn't, I didn't I, it's my bad. I didn't call it correct name. I should have called it T U B E S. There you go. See, I'm the one who named it wrong. That's the reason it came out the same name, Templars. I didn't put the uh, tubes Templars on my set. So let me save that. In the future, I won't make that same mistake. So I added Shredder 2 in there that, that he doesn't have. Uh, here's all the game that I added to my system. So in case you guys want to add the same thing. Now this is like a centipede, but it's, it's more like centipede and metal piece mixed together. It's pretty cool, war, war bugs. I need to try that one out. That's the first time I add this one. That That's the new one I just added. Uh, Sweater 2, uh, Street of Rage 2, I added that one. Okay, they didn't have Street of Rage 2. They only have Street of Rage. No, actually, did. he doesn't have neither one, so I added both. So Street of Rage and Street of Rage 2 that I added. And then I added the Star Glare and Sonic 2 and Sonic, the one with the trackball, and another Sonic, Sonic 1 and 2. And then RK 1944 and 43MI. And 1943, he had the ROM there. For some reason, he did not turn it on. So I went and turned it on and make it available into the game list. So that's why those came out there. 1942, 1943, and 1941. So I had those games back. I think I think it's because it doesn't play that well, or maybe some glitch in them on the sound. So those are the game. Now this one is called a, a Rebel School. This is pretty cool game. It's a, it's a, it's a three D type looking game that I added, and then the Golden Axe two, which I just added to to play this one, and then the another Golden Axe. This one is a Golden Axe two by Mega Play. So add that one, and then the Final Crash. That's like a Final Final Fight, but it's a bootleg version. So. I added that too. 
thought I added more than that. But those are the games that I added. The 10 yard fight, fight. I think that game is already there, but he, for some reason, he, uh, he disabled it. The reason I know it was there because I did a, a you know, arcade search for the whole hard drive, and he found some of this game, but they, it was missing video and artwork. And I'm like, why did he put the ROM there? And he didn't turn it on. So that's the reason I went and put it in my list and added to it. So that's my game list. You have to make sure that you have the snap, the mix art in the in the folder, and when you copy over in the wheel. So you need all three of those to make it work. You don't need the box art because he doesn't support box art, but you need the mix art, snap, and the wheel to make the the make it work. Okay, so that's the game list. Now let's go check. Uh, yeah, the hard drive. So we already did the hard drive. And we did the, uh, yeah, you just need to put all this in lowercase and it should be uh, good to go. Lowercase. Oh yeah, where I download it. So what I did is you have to set up account with him and make sure that you log in to the correct account. So th the problem is I, I use a different account when I set it up. So when you use a different account, you have to keep that account. Otherwise this thing will stop working, just FYI. And then he have the link for you. So I put it up here to make it easier. You don't have to set up account with the, this com with this group. You don't be the black up because when you go into that link, you will ask you to log in and set up account. You don't need to, you just need to set up account here. And he, he will give you a message to read and everything. So you need to read all that. And once you finish reading all that, you just go into uh, the game like, uh, PlayStation 690, so you just click on that. And right there, that's where it tell you uh, what is the password and stuff like that. So this password is called VMAN2020 for explanation. Now make sure that you, you check that because not all the game have the same password. Uh, most of them is this one, but I seen one where his password have a dash. I don't know why. VMAN-2020. And expert, so he had one like that because when I when I download it and I try to uh, unzip it, I was having some problem with it. Let's try this one. Maybe this is the one that. So you have to make sure you check to see what's the password. Okay, this one is still the same password. So you want to make sure you have the password, and then. You go all the way down here, there he will give you the link and you just have to change this link. Uh, you just copy that, control C, and then you go to open up a new new folder and then just paste that in here. Now, when you paste it, make sure you take the XX out and put a TT on it. He said he did it for, uh, uh, since now you're in the black up site. You don't need any special password or nothing with that account. And then you just create a folder for yourself and you click the download. It normally would download a, a tor TORS file, the TORNS, TORNS file, and you just have to click on it and use the, you know, so let's just say if you download this one and let's put it on the virtual man folder. And you just have to create a folder. Which one is this one that I just download? I don't even remember. Oh, Turbo 16. So you just click on Turbo 16 and then just save the torn. It's going to say, I already have a file. Do you want to override it? Sure, let's override it. <coughs> Excuse me. So once it finished, you just click on it. It will open. Make sure you install some kind of torrents download program. Mine is actually called the Q, Qbit torrents, and then you just point to the folder that where you, where you want it. So if you want to download that one, you just go, I put it in the iDrive, and I put it in the virtual man right there, and I create uh, numbers, I know where to find them in alphabet order. 
So I know which one is the old one, new one. And then I just look for Turbo 16 PC Engine. And I just select that and just say OK. Now this one is already already unzipped already. So all the file is there. OK. And I just you know select that and then click OK, select. And then you just click OK and then we'll start downloading that. So let's go to that program, Alt-Tab. Where's my Qubit program? It's not running it's in the background. So let's open up the Qubit program. And right now it's downloading the PC Engine. So if you look at the bottom, it say it's using the virtual add-on 16, double 16, that's where, where my file is located at. And you just have to right click it and say force to resume and then it will start downloading. So I click oh right here is this is downloading right now. And what's of this for some reason is just not working. I don't know why. I'm trying to download some some PC game and it just sit there doing nothing. Stuck on 45. I don't know why. But yeah, the virtual man download is very fast. So you just it, it was start calculating how many bit and then we'll start downloading. All right, so that's how you do it. That's it, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this helped. Uh, if you liked the video, please give me a thumb up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That will help my channel. I appreciate you watching. Hopefully this will help. And uh, if you have any question or, or any uh, suggestion or anything, uh, put your comment at the below and I will try to do my best to help. All right, later, thank you.